Too long ago, fairly recent, January 28th to be exact, America lost one of its great actresses, Cicely Tyson. She died at the age of 96. Cicely's career in both TV and film spans 65 years and will be long remembered for the grace and gravitas that she brought to her roles in Sounder, Roots, Coretta Scott King, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, just to name a few. Just two days before her death, her memoir entitled Just As I Am was published. In her book, she writes, I want to be recalled as one who squared my shoulders in the service of black women, as one who made us walk taller and envision greater for ourselves. I want to know that I did the very best that I could with what God gave me. Those profound words could very well be a prayer that we might all offer this Lent, that we put whatever we have, whatever we can do, and whatever we are at the service of our sisters and brothers. That prayer is really at the heart of the ancient covenant of Israel and the gospel of Jesus, to love with all that we have and are, no matter how simple or ordinary. Jesus' first command was not just to love God, but to love him with one's whole being. Loving God wholly means not begrudgingly sharing your gifts. We should see God in all that we say and all that we do. He is to be our center, our purpose, our beginning, and our end. Secondly, we are commanded to love our neighbor as ourselves. The second commandment calls us to see the image of God in every person and to recognize their inherent dignity no matter their age, state in life, or how they might differ from us in background or belief. How we feel about another person is irrelevant because real love, which comes only from him, can never ignore that person's divine image or their human needs. God is in the person who offended us. It's in the person who's in pain. He's even in the faces of those we dislike. Yes, you know, the ones that make us rather have a root canal than rather be around them. Love is not always easy, but when we love God with our whole being and repent and seek forgiveness when we sin, we grow in the grace to love others too. Let Cicely Tyson's hope for her own life be our hope in this Lenten season. May these days leading to Easter be a time for recentering our lives on God and the things of God. And in whatever unremarkable ways we can, may we be the embrace of God's love for all God's children, be they black, white, brown, Hindu, Muslim, gay, straight, or questioning. Our diversity is a reflection of God's kingdom. We are united by God's love. Thank you.